Let's do a cooking video because I'm bored. Okay guys, so this is completely different from what I have ever done before and by whatever I've done before, I mean just Minecraft videos. So, I am craving some banana bread. So when I'm craving banana bread, I go to the store three or four days in advance, buy bananas, forget to eat my bananas, and then turn them into banana bread so they don't go to waste. Here are my sad bananas. They're very sad. Look at the steps. They're kind of sad. My kitchen is a mess. So the first step in making good banana bread is to clean up the kitchen. Dish is clean. Hello again. So I cleaned up my counter. Look, except for that pan. This isn't my pan. I don't know if it's clean or not, so I'm just gonna put it over here. We're not gonna need that space. And always, the first thing we need to do, set the oven to, actually I think it's just 350 degrees, hold on. I have, yeah, 350 degrees. I always set the oven first because if you make everything and then the oven's not preset, then what are you doing? You're doing nothing for like 20 minutes. That's stupid, don't do that. Don't do that. So the best thing about banana bread is that it's great for like any occasion, but especially like since Halloween is over now, we can do Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. I mean, I'm recording this on November 1st and by the time I edit it, it might be out in time for Thanksgiving. So the first thing you're gonna need, besides the old bananas, is a pan to put the banana bread in. You're gonna want one of these. It's a loaf pan. You only need one of them, but I have two just in case. I'm gonna double up on my banana bread, but I've only got one today. No, I'm, I, I still have two, but I'm only gonna use one. <coughs> Second thing you gotta do is you gotta take off your sweatshirt because you realize you don't wanna be advertising where you go to school. <coughs> Spider-Man. Okay. Next thing is you gotta find the rest of the ingredients and try to remember them and try not to forget anything. You're gonna need an egg. You're gonna need some butter. You're gonna need vanilla. You're gonna need to look at the list because you can't remember. You're gonna need a bowl to mix everything in. You're gonna need some flour, because it's bread. You're gonna need some sugar, because it's sweet bread. And you're gonna need to steal some of your roommate's salt, because you don't ever buy salt or use it very often, but you only use it for banana bread, and you only need a pinch, so you just steal it every time. And you're gonna need some baking soda. And that's it. And now that we have everything, I'm gonna show you the process and how to start making it. And to do that, I'm gonna go in handheld mode. Woo! Spinny, spinny as we dismount the camera from the tripod. Ooh. Oh yeah, I have my Christmas tree up. I know, it's the first of November. I set it up on Halloween. Alrighty, so the first thing you gotta do is to make your job a whole lot easier, not need a mixer or beater or anything, is you're gonna have to start with the butter. We're gonna start by microwaving the butter. According to my list, I'm gonna need a third cup of salted or unsalted butter. So you're gonna get in your drawer, you're gonna pull out your cute little measuring cups that you bought at Target, and nope. Yep, there she is. Now, I'm gonna use like every single one of these throughout the course of the video, so I'm just gonna keep these out. Jingle, jingle, jingle. But then, you're gonna do this one-handed. Just kidding, you're gonna set the camera down because you're not an idiot. And 
can always, you know, push it against the rim. Boop. Beautiful. It actually came out. I didn't think it would do that. Oh, we still got some left though. Hold on. Next, I'm going to take this giant bowl, open up the microwave, we're going to put the butter in the microwave. I'm going to microwave it for like eh, 20 seconds. That'll probably be enough. Then we take it out. And oh, look! Oh, that looks a lot easier to stir, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, next thing you do is you're gonna go. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna close this. And you're gonna get a cup. And if you're like me, you have a million mugs and only one glass cup with a Pikachu on it. So you're gonna pull out your Pikachu cup. And you're gonna take it over to the sink. Just kidding. You're gonna close the door to this. And you're gonna get an egg. We're gonna do the egg next. Oh, this makes just one loaf of bread, by the way. I'm gonna crack it. Oh god, I'm scared. Doing it there. Oh, this is the worst egg I've ever cracked. Beautiful. Alright. Then we're gonna throw this way. Then we're gonna rinse our hands off because it's covered in egg goop. Then we're gonna get a fork. There we go, now we got some nice blended egg goop. So we're gonna wipe that fork, like I said, we're gonna wash our utensils as we use them. Right there, take our Pikachu cup, we're gonna dip it in the bowl. Nice. And the next thing we're gonna do is the bananas. Banana, 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 bananas. All right, so let's see. This is gonna take two hands, so I'm just gonna this down right here all nice like. So we got a banana. I'm just gonna break it in half. I'm gonna tear it and I'm gonna drop them in halves Boop. into our little butter egg mix. One thing that I'd like to point out is that most recipes online will tell you to just use two bananas for one loaf of bread. That is stupid. Don't do that. Use three bananas. The more bananas, the better. And by that, I mean just three in one loaf, okay? You don't need to go overboard. You don't need to do, the, do more. And now it's time to get mashing. So I have pulled from my drawer a banana masher. This is one thing that you're gonna have to specifically get for your banana bread, just like the loaf pans. Hey -ya. We are going to smush our bananas into the egg and butter mixture. At this point, it should smell like bananas, which is great, because banana bread should smell like bananas. All right, you may have heard, but our oven is now ready to bake, but we are not ready to bake. We are just prepared. So, next thing we're gonna add is the vanilla extract. So the key to making this in the easiest way possible is to put all your liquids in first, and then add the solid stuff later. You gotta make sure you get everything blended up. We're gonna go back to the drawer, and we're gonna pull out a teaspoon. Just a teaspoon, please. There we go. And I'm gonna have to set this down again. Beautiful. 
The next thing to go in is the baking soda. There's your baking soda. And then the last thing we do before the flour and the sugar is the tiny, tiny bit of salt. Alright, that's good. I don't really know how much a pinch of salt is, so I just guess every single time. I mean, as long as you don't put in a lot, it's fine. I mean, you don't want your bread to taste salty. I did that once. I accidentally put a teaspoon or maybe a tablespoon of salt into my banana bread once. Don't ever do that. It's bad. Okay. So now that we've got everything else in, we're going to mush it around a little bit. Brilliant. Now we can take the banana masher out and we're going to rinse it off because we're done with it. We're going to move on to the flour and the sugar. So for that, we're going to need one and a half cup of all-purpose flour. Oh, that's a lot. There we go. One. Two. Check how much sugar we need. I think it's three fourths. Yeah, okay. But I don't usually do three fourths cup. I usually just do a half and it's perfectly sweet because we got a bunch of banana in it. So extra banana plus sugar. That's how I do it. And here goes the sugar. Whoosh. All right. That was easy. Now, the last step is to get your giant wooden spoon and mix it around. And at this point, you give up mixing it with one hand and set the camera down to fix it. All right, so this is what it should look like before you put it in the pan. It's pretty thick and it smells amazing and I usually eat whatever's left sticking to the walls when I'm done. But yeah, we're gonna put this in the pan, but before we do that, I forgot we have to get some non-stick butter spray. Shake it up. Accidentally throw away the lid in the trash. And spray it. Make sure to get all the sides of the pan. Also, this stuff smells awesome. Pull that out. Rinse a little. Can you stick that up? Perfect. Now we can add the dough to the pan. So the bread's in the pan, or dough, dough is in the pan, and we're just going to make sure that it's spread out to the corners, all nice and even. Very cute. It's got plenty of room to rise and be happy. I'm going to take this over, to the oven, open her up. Should be nice and hot, 350 degrees, and then stick it in. Perfect. All right, 
Now we're gonna close this, make note of the time, and then come back in about 50 minutes to check on it. Usually it takes 50 minutes to an hour. At this point in the process, you should take a break and play Banjo Tui while you wait for your banana bread to bake. All right, so it's been about 50 minutes. We are ready to check on the banana bread. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, it's probably done. It's pretty crusty there on top. Ooh. Oh, it looks awesome. It's got little pockets of bananas sticking out. We're gonna stab it. It came out clean. Oop. That's pretty good. All right. Always make sure to turn your oven off when you're done baking. I'm turn this light off too. And then we're gonna take this over to my designated banana plate, which is right here. Uh, don't mind that it's dirty, hold on. All right, so now with our clean banana plate and knife, um, we are going to take our knife and we're just gonna, and it looks like it's gonna pop out just fine here in a sec while we tip it over. So I'm gonna grab my second mitt. Actually, yeah, you know, I could do this. Maybe. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. It's a warm little loaf. Oh, this is awesome. I don't know why, but I like smacking it. It's got a nice, thick thickness to it. Alright, now we can cut her open. Oh, oh. I'll get myself a nice thick piece here because this is the end bread and let's be honest the end bread isn't the best part but ooh steam coming out oh. yes 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 it's time to eat some banana bread dudes fun fact this is also my dinner because I forgot to make dinner <laughs> it's good though. This is very good. Ha 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 ha. You might might want to let it cool for maybe like five or ten minutes before you actually eat it. I'm just I'm just stupid. And I've been waiting an hour for some banana bread, so I'm gonna eat some banana bread, you know? So how's your day? Was it good? Did your banana bread turn out well? Let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know, this is great if you add some butter onto it. Um, 
Well, I'm thinking about it retrospectively. If you're really into sweets, I'll go ahead and put three cups of sugar in it. Or, no, sorry, no, 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 no. Do not put three cups. Three fourth cups of sugar in it. And I'm really bad at this. What am I doing? Three fourth cups of sugar because this is just, it's just a little bit sweet. But I like it. It's more banana y than sugary, and I like that a lot. But yeah. Three bananas and half a cup of sugar will do you well if you're super conscious about, oh, how much sugar am I eating in a day? Well, all right, guys, that's it. That's the bread. Nice and easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy your banana bread. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know how yours turned out. Um, this was a new video for me and it was pretty fun to make and banana bread is always something fun for me to make. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, yeah, and I hope to see y'all in real soon. Bye for now.